mushroom show today. King and I come to here for the mushroom show. Okay, cream sauce. This is my T-shirt. This is mushroom joy. Nice one. I tried to give you the non-leaky side. Yeah, I So I'm going to talk in this city in Seattle since so we have a Fujisan Mushroom Society. It's a very good professional mycological group. We are the member in this group for a couple of years. Every year we hold this uh, festival. We have people a show for different uh, mushrooms. So look at the tables right here. One, two, three. We lay out all the samples of mushrooms. And they also identify the names from the mushroom. They are all from this local, actually, in the Cascade Mountain area. We have different sections also. Like uh, in that group, you see gentlemen right there. They're all professional, theological uh, experts. You bring your own mushroom in, they will identify what you have and what you bring in and tell you exactly the mushroom itself as you find in the field. Look at the there, all the books and all the study. They teach you how to do uh, your own study about the mushroom. And ending this right here is a table for the microstructure of mushroom and also the DNA process. And then this right here. And the look over here is to tell you how to do your own mushroom growing at home, cultivate your own mushroom from the kit. Here is art, so some people like to draw and put the turn of picture of mushroom from the picture. And there is like a mushroom, all different uh, handcrafts, so you make it your own souvenir for mushroom. And uh, this is the art and craft of the mushroom. Uh, right there, people tell you how to use a mushroom and the nature plants to dye your fi fiber product stuff like that. This is the book section 
actually all the Bible books for the mushroom identification, mushroom growing, mushroom uh, uh, specifically features, and also tell you how to grow your own mushroom at your home. Very professional books, just specifically to the Pacific Northwest area from the mountain to mountain, mushroom to mushroom, style to style, and how do you actually define a mushroom the way you dig from the, the woods or mountain, then how do you identify them. There's a lot of what going on today. We're going to introduce you guys uh, little bit by little bit, like uh, everything we will go through today. Uh, this show is every year during October, a uh, two days show. You, there's a lot of stuff going on. You will see a lot in here. But the seminars, it's going on in here. You know, in no time you have the answer to it. There's other groups like beliefs. Who's heard of a belief? So what kind of a mushroom is this? This one is the Admirabilis. Uh -huh. So the bullet, Boletus Admirabilis. This one. Ah. Uh. But just the yellow part. Oh, you just take it out of port. My dog is... Polypurs. Um, color like a gold color. Oh, oh, that will turn like this color. Yeah, and this here oh. is this pot here. This is oh, gonna... so this is a lobster. Lobster mushroom. Yes. So that's a Dyer's polypore. Polypore. Yeah. Oh. So that makes wow. these two colors, green and gold. Believe it's Edmavirus. Yeah. Oh. I believe so. It's fuzzy on top. Yeah. We're simmering. It actually, there's a lot of process. Oh, turn to this color. This so pretty. This is from here, yeah. I oh, this think is from this one. Something similar with the yellow from this. Oh. They have brown color. Look at that. Using the mold, out of the different materials. This wood is like 100 degrees. Then, put the color to the time for the time for the time for the time. 把那个颜色，时间长了以后，它就可以把那颜色泡出来，泡出来它就把那个呃要染的丝质品放在里面。所以呢，你看啊，这个温度要升的很慢很慢。它这上面不同的，你看它这个这有不同的毛线，就是用不同的蘑菇做出来的颜色，它这上面蘑菇的名字给你了。Let's see. Um, so let's, let's, this one, um, yeah. is this kind of mold. Put the mold in and then you can continue to do it. This is the oyster, uh, lobster mushroom. You can see the color is this. It's so cool. People actually follow this book, then you can find a lot of uh, information as the mushroom you pick. And uh, pretty good book. And this is also very uh, critical for the local mushroom. Look at the North American. Then there is also Pacific and Northwest. A couple of books, very popular. They have a, they have a very different varieties for the book. Actually, only in this region, like in Cascade Mountain, and also in the beach side. Some books is for edible, some books are also for medicinal. You can find a lot of information from here and help you to identify uh, stuff you got from here. Like this one is especially for bolitas. You will see a lot of them with particular mycological knowledge uh, all about what you can find with here. And they also have a discount book. Old books. Some people do not collect those old books. Very fun. This is the Puget Sound Mycological Society cookbook. They collect our recipe for Chinese dumpling. Nian Gao Tang Yuan. We see where the pin at. Oh, you want the soup? That's the King Bolitas. This is King Bolitas. King Bolitas uh, soup. Pian, what are you doing there? Well, you see, we just use a knife named the Masutaki. Masutaki is very special. It's the best way to get the water to clean it. 
Oh, you scramble all those uh, thir yeah, thirds uh, off. So you never wash that, huh? No, don't do that. So just uh, clean, use a knife, use That's a brush? Right. Yes. That's cool. So if you wash it, you damage the flavor, damage the mushroom. Yes. So you only use a brush, wipe out all the dirt, and uh, just uh, cook like that. No water, no water, no rinse. Very cool. You see, all those uh, people are waiting for the samples. So they're actually want to try different mushroom flavor style. And uh, Ping is the one help the chef clean all the mushroom. Machutaki is very top quality of a mushroom in Washington State. Uh, we find this uh, in the conifer field, in the wood, and very popular here. Uh, people ship those uh, mushrooms to restaurants, to Japan, and make big dollars. But they have to work very hard and uh, get up earlier, climb into the top of the mountain, uh, get some stuff. Uh, to do all the work. Yeah. I just picked the the one big one. Yeah, she found the one like uh, <laughs> seven pounds. Two days. Oh, that's it. Uh, what side? What side of the pack? Fifty-five. Thank you. Um, I do use some mainly to get it. Ah, he told you that. This is what he's been telling. So he had some extra water, so he decided to make. Oh no, I won't try. So he's. So when you cook, you want to dry all those those, yep. those water away. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And see, it's already happening. They're not so shiny. Ah. And then the color will be a bit dark. Yeah. Nice. Um, That's a treasure of food. It's worth for to keep cook it in very cooking, yeah, right. cook them very carefully. So that's already good. Make the perfect quality. Mm. And they don't they don't put oil in it. That's no, a pretty, no, no, yeah, that's no, a pretty that's good. Okay. Yeah. What is this? Oh, matsuzaki rice. Yes. Cool. Matsutaki yep. rice. Good Japanese food. Pound it in the Wow, look at this. The reason come in the Matsutaki soup? Yeah, Matsutaki King Bolidas raw Reza cream soup look at that it's pretty good really nice those are samples from uh, wild field they just picked it yesterday mushroom milk cultivation if I can do it it's a you can see the jelly and you can see the jelly you can uh, you take it home, you put it in your dark closet for a while, or garage, let it colonize the bag. It goes from this to a very hard, right, 
So this, is, this, this is full, yeah, go ahead. This is full of my mycelium now. Opposed to... Yep. Wow. And then once it's fully colonized, you bring it out, a couple slices on it, spritz it with water. Cool. You'll probably get two, two, two flushes out of it if you're, if you're lucky. Uh, sometimes three. Uh, when you're all done, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, compost. Uh, put it in your garden. It's, it's perfect. I mean, high, high quality compost. Smart. You know, it means that when you cut this off, the second group will come out again. Huh? Ah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You could you could try to shock it a little bit, put it, put it back in a cool yeah. area, put it in your garage, and bring it back out. Oh. But, uh, it will grow another uh -huh. flush. When you grow a second group, do you need to cut a new holes or just the same hole? It okay. Comes the same holes. Okay. So it is more more cuts you put there, the more. For your healthy too. No, so the, not at all. Yeah, incense yeah. sometimes is always good. Yeah. Mm. What is this in the bottle? That's a candle. Oh no, that's um, it's oil, hemp oil for arthritis. Oh, you got that ready? Ready to go? Mao, mao, a mao, do you know? Really, mao, I saw that in the book. So it kind of looks like a piano, jewelry. A piano. Pretty cool. Mushroom drawing. We made it from a mushroom. Look at this, it's so cute. And all the decoration stuff. This one is lion's mane. This one has reishi in it. Oh, yeah. Lion's, yeah, mane. lion's mane is super good for the brain. This is water or alcohol? Alcohol. Alcohol. Nice. When you get a fresh one, so you're supposed to use them as a fresh as much, or you should be supposed to dry them? Um, you Which, can do either. You can make tincture like the alcohol extraction with fresh or dried. Ah. It doesn't matter, but tea is usually used dried. Tea, okay. Yeah. Okay. And break it up, and since it's really hardy, you have to simmer tea for a really long time. Uh -huh. I usually just put it in a thermos, and I pour boiling water over it, and let it steep overnight, and then I drink it the next day. Oh, this is a reishi. This one is actually from the Appalachian Mountains, um, but we have yeah. a similar variety here. Wow. Gosh, that's uh, so healthy. Yeah. Such a good one. Is it beautiful? Do you know how, how, how long this grow? Like uh, this uh, grow into this size? Oh gosh, I would say like a year or two. They can get really big really fast. No, they reach it only one year thing, right? They never grow in second year. Because if one year they will die, they will like... Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, they will rot it. Yeah, yeah. May I look at the back side? Yeah, See absolutely. how old is it? It's really interesting ah, it's too. A really so old one. She's yeah. had this in storage for years, and yeah. she said that th she thinks because moisture got into it, it's starting to regrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, those eggs are actually. Yeah, the oh, live yeah, eggs there. This is a fresh. It's living, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, cool. My hair been working very efficient, you know. Thank you. You guys want to try some tea? It's really good and it's hot. Oh. Right, thank you so much. Have a great day. Today. What is this mushroom? This is a new hybrid that came out maybe about three years ago between uh, Pleurotus orangii, the king trumpet and probably Pleurotus pulmonarius, the phoenix oyster, oh. Italian oyster. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Kind of has like the culinary traits of the king trumpet, uh, soft, plush texture, and kind of a fruity oyster mushroom flavor. Yep. It grows like a tree oyster. Cool. Let me know if you have any questions. These are our, that's what you'll, you'll get out of it. Okay. It's about a week and a half. This is all the mold They will take you to the mold. They will give you a description of the mold. And show you how to make the mold. So this is called ID. Yes. We will do it. Identification. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah.